Hello fellow cinema enthusiasts, my name is Christina and welcome to another Let's Get Real movie review. Today's movie I'm going to be reviewing for you is a 1977 horror film by Dario Argento called Suspiria. I had never heard of Suspiria before, I don't even know anything about it. Uh, my brother Christian told me about it when he came home for spring break and he said it's really really good and I should definitely check it out. So we watched it together and whoa it was really good. He was not lying whatsoever. It was awesome. Suspiria is about this girl named Susie Bannon who is from New York. She has gained entry to this prestigious a ballet school in Germany. So she gets there on a very rainy, rainy night. And as she's trying to get in, she sees a girl running and the girl like screams something and runs away. And then we see the girl who was running away go to her friend's house and say, somebody's after me, all this stuff. She runs into the bathroom and then there's this like really creepy shadowy figure with like these eyes that I'm like, stuff of nightmares, no way, uh-uh, very scary. And uh, the figure like grabs her and like just makes a mess of her and then slips her on a rope uh, down in the lobby of the friend's apartment and uh, shatters the glass, chokes a girl, and then kills the girl's friend too. Nice way to start off a movie. Susie wasn't able to gain entry into the school that night because of the girl who ran away. And then the next morning she is allowed in and uh, things start already to get very, very weird for Susie. Uh, she is walking down a hallway and I don't know what somebody does. They just flash this light and all of a sudden Susie becomes sick and uh, the school's doctors are like, oh yeah, all you have to do is just drink wine, drink this, you're gonna be in our care. And uh, Susie's roomed with this girl, Sarah, and the two become friends. The woman who runs the school is Madame Blanc, played by Joan Bennett, who, uh, if you guys are classic movie fans in any way, Joan Bennett was in movies god from like starting out in like the silent era i think this was actually her last movie suspiria and uh there's also her assistant tanner played by alita valley so that was pretty cool to see and uh both of them are, are a little weird um right away you're like you know, they're up to no good the school is creepy in itself it's like blood red walls really really dark brown wooden doors in the Art Nouveau style. If you guys don't know what the Art Nouveau style is, just go research it, I'm not gonna go into it. Um, it's just, it's a really creepy place. It's like super, super weird. The school gets even creepier when one night all the girls are getting ready for dinner and all of a sudden these maggots just start dropping from the ceiling and it's gross. It's so gross. You see like girls brushing their hair and then all of a sudden it's like maggots and then you see them like dropping from the sky. Oh my god, that again, stuff of nightmares. So all the girls are told to sleep in the, um, I guess it's like their training room, it's like this big gymnasium, and Sarah turns to Susie and she points out to an outline of this person and who is like this big kind of figure who it was told to the school that she would be away for a while. The figure is a woman. She has like this really weird snore. It's like just loud <laughs> and really like you know kind of like like she needs help breathing <laughs> so that that gets a little weird and then you see like you know the camera as if it's like someone's point of view like peering at all the girls and you're like oh my god so whatever was going on with the girl who ran at the beginning starts happening to sarah sarah starts looking into the teachers she says that they are supposed to go out off the campus out of the school at around nine o'clock, but she says their footsteps are going in the opposite direction of the store, and then if you, you have to count the footsteps to where they're going. So Sarah decides to try and follow them one night because Susie at night after she eats always gets drowsy and she nods off and Susie's just like really messed up at this point. Uh, so Sarah decides to follow it and unfortunately she winds up in a similar death situation as the girl in the beginning. She doesn't die in the same way. Uh, her death was actually like, like, oh, I was sitting there like, what the what? Ugh, like still gives me the ugh, creeps. Susie eventually figures out that something is pretty hanky 
and she goes into town and she talks to one of Sarah's friends and then she talks to a teacher, a psychologist, and finds out some pretty hinky stuff about the school and Susie winds up saving all the girls in the end. I'm not going to tell you what is the hinky thing that goes on and how she saves the girls, but just know that is so freaking cool and that is also extremely like ah, like what is going on literally had my mouth like like i could not i could not believe it like it was oh, as you can see like suspiria was just like a really freaking cool movie i liked it so much so creepy so freaking perfect loved it so happy my brother told me to watch this movie so i have to say the reason like the girls some of the girls were dying like sarah and the girl at the beginning were dying i did not know um and i had actually looked up uh like what's like a little bit of a summary but i did not read the whole thing so when you find out like why you know the girl died at the beginning why sarah dies why certain things are going on in the schools like what i did not see that coming what the hell so i'm just gonna throw this out there if you want to really enjoy suspiria like i did um don't look up the summary just just go watch it don't look up the summary and then you'll be like holy cow maybe you'll be as surprised as i am i don't know maybe you'll see it coming uh, but i i thought suspiria was just like it was genius the music uh, my brother had played it for me christian he he's a smart kid he played me um the first song in the uh soundtrack of this movie and i was like damn i can see this as the opening and it's the theme so it plays throughout the movie and holy crap it is like it's scary it's like the perfect perfect horror movie like theme to go along with it it just like it really adds it's like one of those themes that just really 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 adds to a movie and i cannot like say enough about it um if you want to listen to it take a quick listen to it uh, i think it's on itunes you can hear it if not i'm sure you can probably find it on youtube but like go hear it and if you guys are into movies and you have an idea if you don't even if you don't like horror movies you'll you'll know you'll be like yeah this is perfect like i can see this in the opening credits i had never seen a dario argento movie before at least to my memory I do not remember ever seeing a Dario Argento movie. Um, he does horror movies from what I have looked up of him. And as I said, horror movies are not really my thing. I'm not too crazy about them because usually they don't have good stories. Suspiria definitely did. So if you're like, oh, I don't know about horror movies, I'm not really crazy about them because usually they don't have good stories. Suspiria did. Suspiria actually had a good story and like the settings, the blood red walls, um the the doors like i said they had an art nouveau kind of feel to them and it was just like art nouveau their colors derive from nature so you have greens you have a lot of like flowery colors you have like purple pinks things like that greens and this like the the decorations were of art nouveau were combined with like a, with red walls very very unsettling so i thought that was really cool i don't know if that was done on purpose but i noticed it that was cool. Anyway, Dario Argento, I think he did a great job. I think this movie was like ridiculously good for a horror movie. And especially from the 70s, like, cause I'm not really a fan of movies from the 70s in general, let alone horror movies. Like, I just think they're really, really silly. There were a lot of scenes where I was like, oh my God, like I can only roll my eyes. And I started laughing cause it was so cheesy. But for the most part, it was good. It was really good, especially for uh, not only a horror movie, but like just a movie from the 70s for me. So trust me when I say that this is actually a good horror movie that has a good story to it. And Dario Argento did a great, great job directing it. And I think he also wrote it too. So that was my review uh, slash ramble definitely a ramble of Suspiria by Dario Argento from 1977. If you guys like this review in any way or ramble in any way, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below if you have seen Suspiria. I had never heard of it, as I said before my brother Christian told me about it. Um, but if you guys have seen it, if you like it, please let me know what you guys think. Leave them in the comments, anything you want to talk about this movie down below. And also in the comments if you have any suggestions of what I should watch next. 
even if they're horror movies i don't know if i'm gonna get to them but <laughs> whatever you got old new movies leave them in the comments and if i pick your movie and i watch it and i review it i'll give you a shout out what and don't forget to hit that subscribe button also the bell notification to see when i upload because I upload very infrequently. I like to say Tuesday, Thursdays, and Fridays, but you never know. So hit that subscribe button, the bell notification, and turn on your notifications and you'll know when I hit it. And as always, keep watching movies and stay absolutely fabulous.